we do have this issue where you know Trump is and his supporters are way over here with everybody's a majority of people are MS-13 is the story and then there's over here where a bunch of people wish that there kind of was no border and that there was a perfect system in which everyone could just come in and there, there would be no uh, emotional or physical hardships and that universe will never exist. Right. There will Jake, always Amer be sad America stories that they have just exacerbated this situation. I mean, this country specializes in vilifying black and brown folks. Let's just be clear. The president picked that narrative about gang activity deliberately because he's picking that narrative to explain, uh, you know, our Hispanic, mainly Hispanic on the southern border, sisters and brothers. He doesn't use that same narrative with other immigrants in this country. Even when he made the shithole country comment, he was talking about countries and nations of color. So let's not delude ourselves. This is a deliberate narrative that the president has used. Oh, it is listen. a deliberate policy that his administration has put in place to dehumanize black and brown people in this country, and it plays to a certain segment l of this country. L listen, I think this president, this is the same president you're talking about that, that has granted, wanted to have a pathway for citizenship for two million illegals that, that President Obama didn't offer. I mean, you know Bush what? That's, that's 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 all well and good. But so how is that doing? a racist but what policy? Is it, what is he doing? How is that a racist right, policy? What is he doing right he now? He offered the, the Democrats rejected that out of hand. Forget the Democrats. The Republicans are in control, David. The no, but, but the I'm saying he put forth a credible proposal. We didn't do it with the Republicans. Also, he did it. He put forth a credible proposal. I do look. I do look forward to the midterm pitch that uh, the United States of America specializes in vilifying. Black and brown people, I do not well, think that they would work do. for Democrats. They but do. Take it to the polls. Take it no, to the voters and enjoy. No, we will take it to the polls, but yeah. the history of this country, enjoy. too. How many examples would you like me to give you about you can, how this you country can give specializes in that? You saying this is not you a know great, what? This is not a next great year, uh, pitch for Next year, 16, 19? Next year, 1919, yes, it'll be 400 know, years since the first Africans were brought to this continent as slaves. So it's not a pitch, it's a reality in this country. And the fact that you're taking such a cavalier attitude about the suffering of black and brown people in this country is appalling. No, it's not. It's, not. it's absolutely appalling. No, Are you trying to say that this country does not specialize in racism and bigotry? No, I am I, saying that racism exists. I am saying exists. that the United but you, States but you, but you, of America... But you, but you, but you have the luxury. Country. You have the okay. luxury to be cavalier about it. But people, my folks, don't have the luxury I, I think of the being fact, cavalier I about it. Listen, I think I the fact your that you're... Point. No, you don't understand my point, because you never cavalier. lived a day in my the, shoes the, or the, the shoes the of my sad, ancestors. The, the, the what I'm being, this is not a political no, pitch. Well, well, Mary this is reality. Let Mary Catherine finish your point, and then Joey. What I'm being cavalier about is something I think we all agree about, which is that the United States of America is the freest country on the face of the earth and gives yeah, the with most all kinds opportunity. of oppression. I know that, but gives the most opportunity possible see, to see, brand you're, us you're as you're only the other thing. You're talking about this through a political I'm talking about I this through a life lens. The saddest thing is that we have a president who plays on this division instead of yes. trying to bring people together. Oh, Joe, that's, what, what, it's like that is the, that gambling is, in Casablanca, that is really? This president? Hasn't happened everywhere before? That's Nowhere the, before, uh, Joe, come on. say this one's unconventional. Joe, you specialize in this spot, buddy. You, you yeah. run, you run it's races. What, that's whataboutism, man. No, You're you, right there with you the did it. You did it. Joe, that's what no, you do for a living. This is really messed up. No. You spin for a living, it's, buddy. Yeah. This is Go really on. messed up. This is not a spin. People's yeah, lives are on the line. Kids have been separated from their but parents. The, this the is not The president doesn't in. drive this division at all. Never. This is oh, not no, spin. No, Joe, I'm not, not, I'm not listen, but, you, but for you to say, I'm shocked that the president is doing this. You, you do it for a career. He, he's doing it for a career, too. But Explain what you mean when you say Joe. Well, Joe's a political consultant. Joe runs races. Joe yeah. runs races. You've never run a negative ad against somebody? How about oh. you just talked about the Doug War race, the Doug Jones race? What happened there? You run any negative ads? Of course. Tons, right? So how is that? So what does I, that have to do so with the president right. of the division. United States, who is the president of the United States, not a political consultant, deciding to divide the American people along along deep-seated divisions that need so, to be healed and so brought listen, together? So I agree. Listen, so, so the politics are race is terrible on both sides, mm -hmm. right? I think it's a oh terrible. Thing. I think it's no. I think it's horrible. I think it's horrible. Yeah, Listen, they're for Republicans they're good to do it. I know, or no, Democrats. No, I think it's, I'm not saying there. that Republicans have a monopoly on racism terrible. and bigotry. Terrible, right? What I'm saying is that we have become numb to some of the very no, real think, challenges in this country that are being numb. exacerbated by this president. But he didn't. He didn't invent racism. I don't think anyone, I'll be the first one I don't to say think that. Was, but to have people who are not black and brown to be cavalier around this panel, I am highly offended. I am just highly offended by this. All I'm asking is that we don't make it. Only that. The United no, States of America not is, not, about, is not, not just only about only that. that only but that is part that. of it. That was all I was we saying. Do, was this country, did this country I enslave conceded, Africans? I did this country take away the land of the Native Americans? I did this country have Jim Crow and black codes? 
That's not in my imagination. No, it's and, not. And still, there are articles that are being written right now that still says that it'll take about 228 years for the average African American to catch up with the wealth of the average white person <laughs> in this country. And we all have to care about it. So it is race and it is class. But to say that the country, our country, the country America, was founded America on racism and bigotry, in, David, but, and but it to say does. That America specializes. Black in men are being shot. It's not. By, oh my we lord! Say it specializes. Don't, don't, I don't it, think it specializes in it. Strong feelings.